Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So this was a pretty interesting furnace that I worked on. I hadn't had one that had done this extreme of basically ignition explosions. They were fairly small explosions, obviously. It wasn't like the furnace ruptured or anything. Um, but basically, the gas was supposed to be pulled into those tubes that go into the heat exchanger. And on one of them, it looked like, you'll see in the video, but it looked like it was just not pulling it incorrectly. So that gas was rolling back and mixing mixing with the air before it tried to ignite, which caused these explosions. I'm turn this thing on and let it ignite. Some of the screws were missing here. Apparently they thought that it didn't need all of them, so let's see here in just a minute what it does. I think this thing might have something going wrong with the heat exchanger, which is causing the fuel to, or the gas not to be pulled into the burners fully. So. Yeah, it should be interesting. The combustion blower just started. Goodness. Ooh. Okay, we're shutting it off. It lit actually that time. Holy cow. Uh, that's the first time that I've ever witnessed that exact thing happen. If you like these sorts of videos, you should subscribe down below. Hit the like button for having survived the explosions. And uh, yeah, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. Okay, so uh, what can happen is if it's not pulling the flames through correctly, which when I started this process, the rollout switch was tripped right there. and that indicates that it's not burning the way it's supposed to. So we're gonna go out and check the vents outside momentarily. And they are clear as day, so we don't have an issue with the blockage there. But I'm pretty sure there's probably a hole in the heat exchanger. Let's look at these flames. Now see that flame on the left there? You can see how that, that flame right there these other ones that look pretty good. So, if your flames are burning like that, it's a very bad sign. The fuel is rolling back into this chamber, and when it ignites, it's got a big mixture of air and fuel. And that's what's causing those little explosions inside of there. So, you can see why this cover it's beneficial. Those are pretty hard explosions too. So this furnace is likely done for. So just wanted to show you that because I have not experienced that terrible of explosions before on a furnace. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you in the next video. See ya. Thanks a ton for watching. If this video was interesting or helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button right below and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Hit that bell icon to be notified about future videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or if you have any thoughts or things that add to the discussion for this video, please share them below. Thanks again and hope you're having a happy new year. See ya.